Here's an AMI This Week shortcut with Beth Deer. The beautiful Rocky Mountains are known worldwide for its scenery, skiing, and various other recreational sports. And for Anya Morgan, who lives with cerebral palsy, her love of the mountains and skiing motivated her to be a participant of Rocky Mountain Adaptive, an organization that's making the mountains accessible to all. I grew up with a family that skied, and so I really, really desperately wanted to be able to ski with them. But we, like, we weren't actually sure whether, um, whether that would be possible. And then, yeah, we found our mate and started having lessons in school, and I've skied with them ever since. Uh, we try to cater to each individual so that they have the best experience they possibly can. We just want to see everybody have access to everything. Alana McLeod is the Community Outreach Coordinator for the Rocky Mountain Adaptive Organization. So Rocky Mountain Adaptive is a registered charity based out of Canmore, uh, Alberta, and our main focus is to make the mountains uh, accessible for those living with a disability, specifically with mountain sport and recreation. So essentially we offer amazing accessible experiences uh, in the mountains, whether that's hiking, paddling, uh, or in the winter, skiing, snowboarding, many, many activities. So Alana, who do you allow to take part in your programs and what are your goals for the participants? Well, Beth at Rocky Mountain Adaptive, our motto is no limits. <laughs> so uh, we don't put any limitations on who can participate um, when it comes to um, what their abilities uh, what their abilities are. Um, and so we sort of aim to uh, have our, our participants participate, learn and excel. So um, we actually do have a development team and a pro team. Um, so if an individual uh, such as Anya um, wants to sort of uh, go farther with their sport, um, they are more than welcome to do that and we want to help them get there. I think really the big thing is the understanding of my disability. So all the staff are, they are trained in that and they know all of the effects and they can work with my strengths and my weaknesses to help me become someone who can participate in mountain sport and recreation. And not only is Anya participating in sport and recreation with RMA, but she is now working for them. So at the moment, I am a member of staff with RMA, so I'm a summer program counsellor, so I go out on our programming, take participants out, on hikes and paddles and bike rides. It's such a great community. RMA feels like a family. And so being able to work with an organization that just feels so close-knit, I think that's absolutely part of the charm of RMA. And I think at the end of the day, we just want our participants to um, to be included in what mountain sport and recreation has to offer. Um, we want them to feel like they don't have any barriers to accessing the beautiful Canadian Rockies. Um, we just want them to feel good about themselves and know that they can do it. There's no limits. Anya, what would you say to someone who is perhaps a little hesitant about trying a new sport that the mountains has to offer? You know, I, I think it's pretty easy to assume that because of our disabilities, there's the, the entire world of sport and recreation is just out of our reach inherently. But what I would say is there's a sport, there's a piece of equipment, there's an adaptation for everyone. 